let me first uh, thank you for being invited as a panelist. It's a pleasure to be here. And also congratulate the African Union Commission and AFDB uh, for being carrying this important study um, that we believe that will have a double uh, contribution. One is to calibrate our uh, policies, the African country policies, uh, to achieve those purposes of inclusive growth and sustainable uh, development and at the same time uh, signalize to our multilateral and bilateral partners which avenues we, we can explore together to improve the private sector participation uh, to make sure that the private sector is the main driver of the economy. Uh, you already know uh, how dependent we are from the oil sector as we have uh, dependencies from natural resources in other African countries. Uh, so uh, considering that there's, that is not a box <laughs> uh, that we need to get rid of it, uh, we should explore uh, everything else that we have on our, uh, on our dis at our disposal uh, to uh, take the advantage from the, the markets and the potential from the continents, the inter-regional trade, uh, pro producing or production or providing services, goods and services uh, with more uh, value added uh, to make sure that we can optimize our demographic dividend exporting those goods and services and uh, creating jobs and transforming, transforming lives. Uh, so for that to happen, uh, we, we should uh, be totally committed uh, in, at removing all the obstacles from, from the way. Uh, and we have some of them. Uh, to, I, I want to, to stress some of them. Um, first is to improve the business, env business environment. I think we, we need to look very careful to it, uh, starting with the, with a political stability. We need to be stable to, 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 to give confidence to the investors to, to come and to invest, even the domestic ones. They want to feel confident about our environment, our political environment. So this is also part of the business environment. Uh, to tackle the excessive bureaucracy in some of our services. Uh, Professor Kevin uh, Urama, that I want to recognize the comprehensive presentation, appointed the, the functioning of the public administration. We have uh, margin to, to progress. The small corruption, is, is this, this is something that also um, avoid us to move faster in terms of attracting uh, private invest, investing, investment, internal or, or uh, external, um, and a business, a, 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 fiscal, uh, a fiscal environment that is business uh, friendly, uh, but at the same time enforcing uh, those fiscal law, because we make an effort to be more modern in, in our fiscal system in so many fronts, not only the fiscal, Regarding the legal framework, we are doing a lot of uh, progress, but we have some fragilities regarding the enforcement of the law. So it's something that we need also to work on um, and to, to the efficiency of our justice bodies to make sure that the private sector understands that the justice function and if something goes wrong, uh, the justice, justice bodies will be there uh, to correct uh, those inefficiencies or um, um, bad behavior. Uh, human capital is key. We are preparing our national development uh, plan for 2023-2027, and human capital is the, the main pillar, uh, capacity building, improving the levels of uh, budget allocation for education, improving vocational and technical skills. They, it's key to make sure that our population uh, could be part 
of our uh, growth and development uh, strategy. Regarding infrastructures, I think it's not only a matter of creating new ones, but it's also a matter of understanding uh, in which parts of the country, what are the uh, comparative advantage that we have, and put the infrastructures in a way that we can explore those advantage, com advantage um, those ad comparative advantage apart from uh, natural resources, apart from from uh, from primary sectors. Uh, for example, we want to put a lot of energy on agri and tourism. So Angola need to find out uh, where to start, where to put a road, where to start uh, investing on electricity and water, considering those two pillars, agri and tourism. Uh, we have a huge country. Uh, our fiscal space do not allow us to do everything at the same time. So we need to have a strategy uh, starting to invest on those parts, on those projects where we can create, uh, we can add value, and with revenues and the, the GDP growing coming from that, we'll be able to address other parts of the, the country and, and, and finance other, other projects. And also to see how the private sector could move, could move together, can move together with us, addressing those, those needs of infrastructures. For example, via PPPs and how the multilateral partners could move together with us on this. But another part of the infrastructure side is also the maintenance of those infrastructures. Because we cannot, uh, from five to five years or to 10 to 10 years, do it again. So we need to have a model when we are able to maintain those infrastructures with local capacity and find a way that we, the infrastructures can pay themselves in terms of maintenance uh, capacity. Uh, financial systems that are resilient, good services, modern products, not discriminating SMEs, that is something that uh, our banks tend to do. They want to work only with the biggest, with the big companies, but we want, we need also to find a way that the SMEs are part of uh, our, our growth and our uh, strategy on development to make sure that they can help us to boost the economy and, and create, and create jobs. And finally, take a long, open and uh, committed look to inside, uh, to the domestic investors, to the country neighbors, to make sure that we follow the way that sometimes is not the easier way, but for sure is the sustainable one. Uh, do more with our local, uh, our local people, do more with, within Africa. Uh, and take advantage uh, from all the potential that, that, that we have. And finally and for all, uh, transform, our, transform the word potential in real, uh, real and practical uh, realization and, and, and deliver. So it's something that we need all to be committed with. And after all, after all this, at the end of the day, we, we will be able to to, to reach the purpose that is common, that is to grow more than our population grow, and, and to, to make sure that we are proud of being African, not only because of our potential, but because we are really delivering and, and happening in terms of growth and inclusive growth, uh, and be proud of it. Thank you. <laughs>